Hi, this is Zach. This is the first time I'll be trying 1.3 gigahertz on this Dart XL. As you can see, I've got a Singularity V2 antenna on this wing, and on the opposite wing, the FI Sky L9R receiver antennas, which I'm hoping won't be interrupted too much by the video signal. It's about 80 centimeters between the uh, two antennas, so hopefully that's enough. On the goggles, another true RC uh, Singularity. Uh, straight into the Matec version 2 of the 1G3 VRX. You'll see here I've also installed RG Plane on this Dart XL. Bit of a shake to wake it, and pretty bad uh, launch, but thankfully the RG Plane takeoff mode takes care of that. I've learned a few things just from watching this DVR already. Uh, the altitude that the takeoff mode tried to aim for. Uh, it shot through really quickly and then had to start trying to regulate the uh, altitude with the throttle as well. So I'm going to fast forward now. Uh, once I get out of takeoff mode, I basically go through a auto tune session. Uh, I'll skip ahead because there's no point watching me roll and pitch the plane for the next five minutes. Once I've completed the auto-tune, I flick it back into fly-by-wire A mode. Interestingly, the RSSI reading that you see in the top left, it's jumping all over the place, which is very unlike the L9R RSSI normally is, even dipping as low as 30% there. Normally within 2 to 3 kilometers, it sits basically at full power at 99. Uh, only once I've gotten sort of beyond 3 k's uh, will it start to drop down to towards 90 percent. Uh, but I can definitely tell that with this 1.3 gigahertz VTX installed, it's affecting the RSSI quite a bit. So uh, clearly I'm going to have to be careful with it. Otherwise, I'm really quite happy with the video quality. Uh, depending on how I tilt my head with the goggles, uh, it actually does change the color from really vibrant to slightly washed out, which is really weird. I've not noticed that with any other VTX and antenna combination before, so not really sure what's going on there. I wonder whether I'd have different results if I used the inverted V antenna that the VRX and the VTXs came with. Uh, probably slightly higher gain, uh, although then I'd be getting some reflections off the hills, which might create a bit of noise as well. But here I'll fast forward a little bit with the DVR footage, uh, just to show you a little bit more range, because I only just watched Stunt Double's video review of this same VRX and VTX and uh, he had a lot of noise at two kilometers. So I was quite curious to see if I'd have exactly the same result. As you can see here, I'm already at 2.5 kilometers cruising along the hilltop, still within line of sight of where I'm sitting. And uh, the video quality is quite good. Certainly about what I'd expect from a good line of sight coverage with 5.8 gigahertz. So at this stage with line of sight, uh, there's not a lot of difference. That said, I really do like the colours and the level of detail that I'm seeing through the goggles. Uh, the goggles, being HDO2s, are showing a lot more detail than you see in this DVR, and uh, I'm really quite enjoying the view and the colours. As you can see there, I almost got to 3 kilometres, and there's very little noise. So, uh, so far, so good. There's been quite a bit of rain around this region lately, so everything is so beautiful and green. It's quite nice with these purple weeds that have popped up all over the place as well. And uh, quite a lot of areas have little yellow flowers that have come up through the green grass. So a lot of colour around at the moment, which is really pretty. I'm going to fast forward now because I basically cross over to the hill that you can see in front. If you look at the wind speed reading on the left, uh, you can see that it's starting to get a bit bumpy and the wind has crept up from 3 or 4 kilometers when I launched and 
is now reading at uh, 11 kilometers, uh, although it is gusting from what I can see. Cresting this hill here, I'm uh, getting close to 3.5 k's. Line of sight is probably a little bit average at this point uh, from where I'm sitting, but the video is still pretty good, especially when I've cleared the hill and turned slightly. I'd say if I was flying this with 5.8, I would have had a lot more breakup going over that hill, so this is looking pretty good to be honest. So the furthest point I got there was about 3.4 kilometers, and uh, definitely didn't see the sort of issues that stunt double had shown in his review video so I'm pretty happy. I'm going to fast forward now where I tip down into the erosion gully. While I was just having fun flying this and getting used to how RT plane in FBWA mode felt, uh, what I probably should have paid attention to was my RSSI jumping around all over the place and dipping down quite low at times. Thankfully there was no mishaps at this stage because the uh, radio still had enough signal to get the control inputs across. I'll fast forward now to where I'm heading back out just to test the RSSI flying a little bit further towards the suburbs. Everything seems okay. RSSI is jumping up and down. I guess I'm flying reasonably low given that I'm nearly 3 k's away. Flying over that power line doesn't seem to have done anything to either the video or the receiver. Rather than just coming in and landing, I decided to have one more little run up the creek just for fun. And that turned out to be a bit unfortunate. What's interesting with this final part of the video is that as my line of sight gets cut to where I'm sitting, not only does the video go, but the RSSI with it from my on that R. So it seems like the radio signal has been weakened to the point where it's essentially a line of sight signal now. So I'll play that back a little bit slower and as you can see the RSSI is dropping as the video gets fuzzy and pretty much at the point where the video goes I've tried to hit return to home but I don't think the receiver was actually responding to anything I was doing on the controls. Luckily for me, the plane cleared the actual creek and landed in the grass on the other side of the bank. So this was essentially a baseline flight with no filters, no ferrites on the cables, just basically installing 1.3 gigahertz along with the L9R and seeing how the two systems coped side by side. While the video signal was pretty good out to 3.5 Ks, it did definitely have an impact on the L9R, weakening the 2.4 gig control signal to the point where it essentially is a line of sight signal now as well. Thanks for watching, I hope that was interesting. I'll put on a little bit of the GoPro footage as well. Cheers.